photos that I promised that I would do on Twitter and on Instagram because you guys absolutely loved the look. And it's using the Velvet 59 Lotus no, Exotic Lotus Palette, that's what it's called. Um, I've been talking a lot about Velvet 59 because they were at BeautyCon and they sent me a few products and I tried them out and I am so impressed by their stuff, you guys. It is seriously so amazing, so I'm gonna have the link to them down below. They don't know what I'm making this video, they don't know anything, um, all they know is that they sent me products, it's not sponsored or anything like that. I just wanted to share a really good palette with you guys. Now, um, I gotta be honest, this is not the exact same look that I posted on like Twitter and Instagram. I kinda like amped it up a little bit. So yeah, I guess that's really all that I have to say. We are also so, so close to 200,000 subscribers on this channel, which is so so if you guys want to subscribe so we can hit that you know milestone together that'd be awesome the subscribe button's right now here on the screen also down below if you're on like a mobile device or on your computer and you can't click the subscribe button on the screen it's down below and uh yeah i'm gonna stop rambling and let's get on to it all right so obviously i'm gonna use the star of the show the exotic lotus palette by velvet 59 the colors are just so amazing so rich so pigmented it's an amazing palette i have it linked down below but i'm first gonna go in with this shade kyoto kimono they have like kind of bizarre names and it's like a purple shade that i'll be using as my transition color. I tried to use all shadows from this palette, but if you don't want to use one from this palette, try Soft Brown by MAC. That would also look great. Here I'm going in with two NYX Jumbo Shadow Sticks. The first one is in the shade French Fries. Also a black would look awesome underneath this color, but I'm just using French Fries and you can see that I like got it way too far in the inner corner. But this is only going on the inner corner and outer corner of the lid and then blending it out with a short shader brush from Rite Aid. And this has synthetic hair, so it works well with cream products. Then on the center of the lid, I'm going in with this NYX Infinite Shadow Stick in the shade Rose Gold and just pop that on the middle. Here I'm going in with this shade called Tiger Lily and putting this on the inner corner and outer corner, basically just wherever we put the French Fries Jumbo Shadow Stick. And I'm pushing it up into the lid, I'm sorry, into the crease, if you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, pushing it up there. So, uh, yeah, once you have that nice and pushed up, I'm going in with what a what was a clean 217 before I did the other eye. This has no product on it. I'm just using this to blend out the crease and make it, I don't know, like a light fade up from the lid to the crease to the brow bone, make it like a nice gradual fade. So just keep blending it, and then you get it to this shade. And then we're moving on to the orange, which is called the Silk Road. And I'm packing extra of this on because, as you guys will see, when I put the glitter on, the glitter glue does kind of take off the shadow a little bit. What was that? Anyway, this is the um, glitter glue that I'm talking about, and I'm using Nude Beam by... This is, like, from the Vegas Nay collection that she came out with with Too Faced. It's really just a iridescent shimmery champagne glitter. You can use an orange glitter, red glitter, pink, literally whatever glitter you want. And we're just putting that over top of the orange. And this just, oh my God, this glitter is so beautiful. I think it's my favorite glitter in my entire collection. It is so pretty. So once you have that on, we are going to mimic what we did on the lid on the lower lash line to tie it all together. So putting the red color on the inner corner and outer corner and then the orange in the center of the lid or lower lash line, sorry, and just blending it out with the clean 217 again. Moving on, I'm taking this shade Sake Plum and I'm using the Gardening Ho Tool brush. This might be my favorite brush and I'm just putting that where my lashes would go just to make them a little bit thicker and blending it out. Okay, I'm gonna be real. This step is so unnecessary. I did this on the other eye, so I was like, hmm, I'll do it on this eye. I lined my eye first with a black eyeliner. This is the 24-7 liner in zero, but I'm so annoying, and I went in with a gel liner over top of the pencil liner that I just put, don't mind my hair, on my waterline, so I'm just layering that on because I'm so extra. But I also really do focus this on the inner corner because if you can see on the other eye, I kind of, you know, made my inner corner a little bit traumatic. So that's what we're going to do on this eye. Okay, I have to warn you guys, I'm prepping for eyeliner and I thought I was good enough, but then I realized I wasn't. So I went back in. But, oh my gosh, I 
honestly was about to cry when I did my eyeliner. Like you can see right here, I just know the wing is bad. I know it's bad. Trust me, I know. I am so disappointed in myself. But I also did drag the inner corner in a little bit more to make it really dramatic. This might just be my favorite way to change an entire eye look. It seriously changes the shape of your eye and it is incredible. So I just kind of, you know, make a little wing on the inner corner. You can see how fresh I am with my wing, but I was like, okay, once I put mascara on, it'll look a lot better. So I'm layering mascaras. First one's Clump Crusher by CoverGirl, and the second one is Better Than Sex by Too Faced. Still wasn't happy, so I put some on the lower lashes, and I was like, okay, I'll like it now. I didn't. I still hated it. Um, the wing just looked like the ugly stepsister because the one on the left eye was so nice. So you can see here that I'm like literally so frustrated with my wing. So I try to redo it, not just once, not just twice, but three times. And the third time I was like, okay, you know what? I can clean up with concealer, it'll be good. And then I also redid the inner corner wing while I was at it, added a little bit more mascara, and I was finally happy with the eyes. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. I had to get one more fun summer look in there before I started my fall looks, but I'm so, so excited to do a fall look. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna do one next week, and I am so excited, I'm wearing it every single day. You guys are asking what it is. I'm just like, I need to do it in a tutorial for you guys. So I'm really, really excited for that. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys follow me on my socials because if you guys can't tell, I really do update those um, the most with my makeup looks and stuff like that. Also remember that my website launches September 1st, which is crazy. So if you guys want to, you know, be on the mailing list for that to know when everything comes out and stuff, um, I'm going to leave the link down below. All you have to do is sign up, like, right when you go on the website, it's there. Um, but yeah, it comes out in, like, four days or something crazy like that. And I've been working really, really hard on it, and I really hope you guys all will like it. Plus, on my website, I will be posting, like, bloopers and stuff of videos that will only be on my website. So if you guys want like exclusive content, sure check the website. So yeah, that is all and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!